I think it's great for two people to be together. That is a good number. I think that to keep it alive though, you can't spend every day together. It wears out the magic. Love means nothing to me if it's not fortified with fierce, painful longing, brief, explosive instances of furious passion and intimacy, and then a sad parting for a time. In that way, you can give your life to it, and still have a life of your own. I think some couples spend too much time together. They flatten out the potential for experience by constant closeness. Passion builds over time like steam. Let it rage until it is exhausted and then leave it alone to let it build up again. Why can't love be insane and distorted? Why can't you write burning letters and let your nocturnal self smolder with desire for the one who is not there? Why not let the days before you see her be excruciating and ferment in your mind so on the day you go to the airport to pick her up, you're nearly sick with anticipation? And then when desire shows the first sign of contempt, throw it back in its cage and let it slowly build itself back into a state of starved fury. Then when you are together, it all matters so that when you look into her eyes, you lose your balance. So that when she touches you, it feels like you had never been touched before. When she says your name, you think it was she who named you. When she is gone, you bury your face in the pillow to smell her hair, and you lie awake at night remembering your face and her neck, her breathing, and the amazing smell of her skin. Your eyes go wet because you want her so bad and miss her so much. Now that is worth the miles and the time. That matches the infernal of life. Otherwise, you poison each other with your presence day after day as you drag each other through the inevitable, mundane aspects of your lives. That is the slow death that I see slapped on faces everywhere I go. It's part of the world's sadness that's more empty than cold, poorly lit rooms and cities of the American night.